Egypt 220 units of F-16 but without BVR missiles the Egyptian Air Force operates 220 F-16s making it the fourth largest F-16 operator in the world. The F-16 is the EAF's primary frontline aircraft and is used for both air defense and ground attack. After the Yom Kippur War, Russia stalled deliveries of new aircraft. Because of this, Egypt turned to other suppliers, notably France and the U.S. In 1979, the government of Egypt signed a peace treaty with Israel, ending over 30-year tension and hostilities. With the peace treaty signed, Egypt became a major recipient of United States military aid. Deliveries of Western equipment started with French Mirage 5 aircraft and USF 4Es. In the early 80s, Egypt ordered a Mirage 2000s and F-16A Bs followed by F-16C Ds in the mid-80s. On June 25, 1980, Egypt signed a letter of agreement to acquire 42 Block 15 F-16A B fighters, 34 single-seaters and 8 two-seaters under the Peace Vector IFMS Foreign Military Sales Program. The first F-16 was accepted by the Al-Qawad al-Jawiyah il-Mishriya Egyptian Air Force during a ceremony at Fort Worth in January of 1982. With the first six planes arriving in Egypt on March 16 of that year, F-16B No. 9207 was rather exceptional as it was built by Fokker in the Netherlands. By 1997, all Block 15 aircraft were or were being modified to Block 42 standard C modifications. Since Egyptian Air Force F-16s were acquired under foreign military sales, they carry USAF serial numbers for administrative purpose. In service, they carry a four-digit EAF serial number on their vertical tails. Peace Vector 2 One year later, Egypt ordered 40 additional F-16Cs, 34Cs and 6Ds with AIM-7 Sparrow capability. These were Block 32 machines, and were some of the few examples of F-16Cs being built that were compatible with the AIM-7 Sparrow. In October of 1986, the first F-16C arrived in Egypt under Peace Vector 2. The 242nd Regiment at Beni Souf began operating F-16Cs in October 1986. By 1997, all Block 32 aircraft were modified to Block 42's C modifications. Peace Vector 3 in June of 1990. Egypt signed an order for 35 Block 40 F-16Cs and 12 Block 40 F-16Ds powered by the General Electric F-110 turbofan. This order was under Peace Vector 3, and these planes were intended to equip two squadrons as well as to make up for attrition. The first Peace Vector 3 F-16s were delivered to Egypt in October of 1991. Peace Vector IV a contract to produce 46 Block 40 F-16C Ds for the Egyptian Air Force was placed with TUSAS Aerospace Industries tied of Turkey, 34 of them will be F-16Cs, 12 will be F-16Ds. This was carried out under the auspices of the Peace Vector IV program and marked the first sale of a foreign-built fighting Falcon to a third-party nation in the history of the F-16 program. The first aircraft was delivered in early 1994 and deliveries continued into 1995. All but one of the earlier F-16s for Egypt had originated on the Lockheed General Dynamics production line at Fort Worth. For formal bureaucratic reasons dealing with the rules and regulations under which the foreign military sales program operates, TIE is not allowed to deliver F-16s directly to Egypt. Instead, the aircraft are initially delivered to the USAF, which then turns them over to Egypt. Egypt had received a total of 175 Fighting Falcons by the time all the TIE machines were delivered. Peace Vector V In May 1996 the governments of Egypt and the United States signed an agreement providing for the sale of 21 new F-16C D Block 40 aircraft to the Egyptian Air Force. The contract is worth $670 million. That is Egypt's fifth order of F-16s over the last 15 years.
The new Egyptian aircraft will be manufactured in Fort Worth. Deliveries begin in 1999. The engines will be the General Electric F110 GE100Bs. Egypt will use the new production F-16s as well as the modernized F-16s to maintain a self-defense capability. These new aircraft, as well as the aircraft being delivered from prior F-16 purchases will replace aging Soviet origin aircraft. As it might turn out, these new aircraft will be spread among the existing F-16 Block 40 units at Abu Suwair and Genaklis. LMTAS Fort Worth plant began building the first of these 21 F-16s in 1999. Peace Vector V In February 1999, the U.S. government and Egypt were close to announcing approval for sale of 24 new-build F-16s for the Egyptian Air Force. Financing for the sale is in place through the U.S. FMS program. Once the U.S. Embassy in Egypt finishes writing the official letter of offer and acceptance, the deal can be announced to Congress. Congress is not likely to oppose the deal, since Egypt already has taken delivery of 196 of the aircraft and 24 more will not shift the balance of power in the area. On March 6 of that same year, the United States agreed to sell Egypt $3.2 billion worth of new American weapons, including 24 F-16 Block 40 aircraft, 201 A-1 tanks and 32 Patriot missiles. Egypt would pay for the arms from the $1.2 billion a year it gets in U.S. military aid. The 24 F-16 fighters would cost $1.2 billion. Peace Vector 7 On December 24, 2009, the U.S. signed a contract with Egypt for the delivery of 20 new F-16s under the known Peace Vector series. Notification to Congress already happened last October. So everything is ready to finalize this deal. With this new order the number of F-16s delivered to Egypt raises to 240. Although Egypt has a large fleet of GE-powered Block 40s, the New Deal compromises PW-powered Block 52 versions. The order compromises 16C models and 4D models, modifications and armament together with a fifth order. Egypt decided to modify older F-16D aircraft in country through engineering change proposals detailing requirements for the installation and integration of Harpoon and GBU-15 weapons capability aircraft radar modifications and other related elements of program support. Principal contractors for the upgrade program will be McDonnell Douglas, St. Louis Mo, Rockwell International, Tactical Systems Division, Duluthga, and the Westinghouse Electronic Systems Group, Baltimore MD. All aircraft in the Block 15 and 32 series have been or will be upgraded with most Block 40 40 seconds features thus retaining the Pratt & Whitney F-100 engines and the small inlet ducts. As a consequence, every Egyptian F-16, Block 15, 32 or 40 can accommodate the LANTIRN system, they have been modified with the holographic HUD giving them full autonomous laser weapon handling, i.e. GBEU-15s, AGM-65Ds. Together with the sixth deal, a batch of AGM-88 missiles was also delivered for usage on the Block 40 airframes. U.S agrees not to sell Amram to Egypt. The United States was said to have agreed to an Israeli request to restrict the capability and use of advanced air-to-air -air missiles to Jordan and ban their sale to the rest of the Arab world. The London-based A-Shark Al-Azat reported on Wednesday that Israel persuaded the Bush administration to impose a set of restrictions on the sale of the AIM-120 advanced medium-range air-to-air missile to Jordan. Earlier, the administration had agreed in principle to a Jordanian request for the Amram for the Kingdom's F-16 fleet. The newspaper asserted that Israel agreed to an arrangement in which the Amram would be sold to Jordan. But the agreement included a U.S. commitment to ban the export of the air-to-air -air missile to other Arab states. Earlier this year, the administration relayed an informal request to Congress to sell the Amram to Egypt. 
Several senior House and Senate members expressed their opposition to the proposed sale.